I was gonna go out and shoot some photos, do some test images without the IR cut filter on the M8. I did go out a few times this week with what little time I had and shot a few test images. However, with the custom settings that I put in to shoot both RAW and JPEG, I kept forgetting to go to that particular user. So when I was using the camera, I ended up with just JPEGs. I'll go ahead and show those images at the end of this video, but they're pretty plain Jane and I didn't really get to edit them because they're JPEGs. So if you wanna see those, hang out to the end of the video. But in this video, I'm gonna do something crazy. I was able to find some firmware that I believe is the latest firmware edition for the M8. This firmware version was released in February 2008. Um, one cool thing, I've had this camera for about a week now, but you can see right here the date on it is 2006. Now based off the serial number on this particular camera, it looks like this camera is a 2008. So why the date says 2006, I'm not sure. So we're gonna go ahead and put the software onto the memory card and hopefully the version of software that I got is good. All right, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and format the card in the computer because I don't know if it should go inside of this folder here or if the software should be here. Let's go ahead and pop the card into the camera. I'm very, very nervous that I'm gonna end up breaking this camera right now. Uh, I did read in the instructions that you have to make sure that the battery's charged, but that the camera would tell you if it was charged sufficiently or not. So here we go. Hopefully I do not brick this camera. I will be totally broken hearted. All right, so it looks like the right firmware because it says, do you want to update the firmware? to version 2.014, which is the most current version for the Leica M8. Uh, even though it's the most current version that was released in June 2011. So here we go. Hopefully this does not brick the camera. The fact that it's up on the screen, I think will be fine. And let's go for it. Fingers crossed, it's processing. Dear God, please don't let me break this camera because there is no going back now at this point. Um, also, I read that you cannot go back on a firmware update. So once it's updated, that's it. That's what you're stuck with. So if you do this for your camera, just know there's no going back. And I got to tell you, I'm still nervous, even though we're, we're halfway through the process here. I know I'm foolishly hoping that it'll fix the, the hot pixel, dead pixel on the sensor. I know it's not going to, but I'm, I'm still just hopeful in some way that, you know, the cameras nowadays can rebuild those pixels or work around them um, without having to do anything to your camera. So I know this, this, this one, this firmware does not do that, but update successful. Yes. Please restart camera now. And let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna turn it off. Woo. 2006, isn't that crazy? We're almost 20 years in the future on this. All right, so there we are, June 30th, let's set it. There it is, version 2.014. Uh, I don't remember where I found the firmware. However, I will put this up on kingpincameras.com if you wanna go download it from there. I'll leave a link in the description below. Just know that I will not be responsible for your camera if it were to break or anything happened to it. All right, so I think we should probably just take a test image with it real quick to make sure it works, so. Let's just spin around here and take an image of one of my cameras. Thanks to all the new subscribers. I appreciate you guys greatly. You have no idea.